Welcome back to the Swang Low Podcast Show, man. We back at the round table with another reaction video to this situation that's going on and heating up between my nigga DW Flame and this gay ass dude, Adam22 from No Jumper. You feel me now? I'm starting to see a consistency with this dude, Adam22. You feel me? And for you people, you black folk that seem to think that he's a sainthood and come to uplift the black community, you know what I'm saying, and take the black community to the next level, you know what I'm saying, well, you're, you're, you're a fool for even believing that, you know what I'm saying, but hey, you do what you must do if that person is, you know, um, giving you an opportunity to feed your family or whatnot, you know what I'm saying, hey, sell your soul how you may. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we all got a guy that we're going to have to face eventually in the end. And it's just certain things that you're going to have to answer to point blank period, just like this dude, Adam 22. But the consistency with this dude that I see is anybody that isn't with him is against you, against him. You know what I'm saying? And I see now, like when the people that when they leave no jumper, you know what I'm saying? They come out and they speak their truth. Right. And. This dude is going to go all out to destroy you, your career and any and everything that you have worked so hard to get established. Now, this is very clear, you know, um, from the situation that's going on back and forth between him and D.W. Flame. Now, I guess now he's trying to put it out there like D.W. Flame is snitching on him. You know what I'm saying? Because he's mentioned in the situation about um, somebody apparently, um, allegedly, excuse me, allegedly um, getting shot at the No Jumper studio. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, it's my understanding that that person that's involved in that situation came out with a video speaking on the situation and um, releasing a conversation via um, text message between him and um, this guy, Adam22, and the person that allegedly had got shot in the leg. All right, so if this information is being put out there by this person that's involved in this situation directly, then how is DW Flame a snitch for speaking on a situation that's already out there publicly? You know what I'm saying? For any and everybody to have an opinion about it. You feel me? Include myself. So you're saying that um, after this situation has been leaked publicly, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not going to even say leak, released released publicly, you know what I'm saying? For all of us to view, have an opinion on this content. You know what I'm saying? We're all snitches for having an opinion about something that was reported by a person that was directly involved in this. No, I smell a smut campaign a mile away by this dude, Adam 22. You know what I'm saying? Him and his little side YouTube channels, you know, is starting to try to do the little smut campaign like DW Flame is telling because he's speaking on this situation about this dude getting shot allegedly at the No Jumper studio. Right. Well, we're not going to let you or allow you to try to spin that type of scenario on a real crib. And those of you that choose to surround yourself with Adam 22 and the uh, no jumper brand, you know, that sit comfortably and the loudest dude to try to assassinate a man that has done nothing but stood up on everything that he believe in. And I see absolutely nothing wrong with that. But apparently some of you dudes do. You feel me? So shame on you. You know what I'm saying? Shame on you for being such um, such a person that is willing to turn your back on the real, you know, for uh, a homosexual that's out to destroy, you know, the black community, in my humble opinion, by, you know, introducing a lot of stuff that he has absolutely no ties to, no relations to directly. He's not a gang member. You know what I'm saying? He don't even come from a gang background, my understanding. So why all the gang politics? Why introducing all this gang, you know, gang culture stuff in what's supposed to be a hip hop entertainment um, podcast? I thought that's what No Jumper was. I thought that was the basis behind, you know, its whole existence. 
You know what I'm saying? And the, the, the gang members that was surrounding that show just so happened to be employed there, but that was not the main headliner. The main headliner was supposedly to be hip hop and entertainment, not gang banging culture, gang banging politics. You know what I'm saying? And have all this back and forth gang banging shit going on, you know, with along with snitches, cops, ex cops, and so on and so on. We know those of us that that was paying attention, you know, the, the, the fuckery that was going on at No Jumper. You know what I'm saying? So um, my people out there, you know, that, that, that ride with D.W. Flame, you know what I'm saying? And Baby and Saints, you know, I fucks with them all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? And in no way, shape, form, or fashion will I allow... Um, you know, this dude, Adam 22, to assassinate a real one's character. It's just not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Or anybody that would sit and allow it to happen and be comfortable with that is just ridiculous to me. That's something I would never understand. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, I just wanted to bring this situation to the round table. You know what I'm saying? For all my peoples to have an opinion on since it's out there. And it seems to continue to spiral into something bigger and greater. You know what I mean? So now that it has our attention at the round table here at Swanglow, why not? Because I've been consistent in how I felt about No Jumper, um, you know, since I've, you know, voiced an opinion about Adam 22 and No Jumper. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's a video out there, my very first one, where I did speak publicly about Adam-22 for the first time. And then from that point on, I've been consistent. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, you know, straddle the fence, you know what I'm saying, and kiss ass, you know, to try to get in, in good graces. Nah, not me. I don't care about none of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody fear game. Point blank, period. That's his mentality against us, utilizing our culture, you know what I'm saying, and everything else that's attached to this beautiful black greatness, you know what I'm saying, but hey, why not, get paid for it, we all should, you know what I'm saying, for being beautiful, black, and great, you know what I'm saying, so to my nigga DW, man, keep your head up, my nigga, the real crips are standing up for you, my nigga, point blank, period, and you know how we do in that motherfucking three gang, you know what I'm saying, but um, yeah, man, everybody that came to the round table for this issue, man, I appreciate you, thank you, you know what I'm saying, and those of you that's new, please take the time out to like, comment, and subscribe, be the first one, man, hit that bell button to show up at the round table, you know, when we have a reaction, you know what I'm saying? Or we go live. I appreciate y'all, man. And again, love y'all. Thanks for tapping in. Triple Gang.